Universal Studios, producer, director, Mrs. V, scene one. Hello, boys and girls around the world. Yes, my name is Mrs. B, and I'm a teacher in the United States. I'm so glad that you're able to join me today for a very special read aloud. But before we begin, I have a hello song just for you. Hello, boys and girls around the world. Hello, boys and girls around the world. How are you? How are you? I'm glad you're here to read and learn. We know we'll have some fun today. We love school every day. And so will you. I know Mrs. B is a little bit silly, and she also has a terrible singing voice. But boys and girls, I wanted to so share a song with all of you. Boys and girls, the book that I've selected for today's read aloud is called Rosie's Walk. This book was written by Pat Hutchins. He is the author of this book. And the person that drew the pictures is called an illustrator. And it just so happens it's the same person, Pat Hutchins. And boys and girls, you're going to read a lot of children's books where the author and the illustrator are the same person. They are just very talented individuals. Now, boys and girls, this is called the front or the cover of the book. If we turn it over, this is the back of the book. And here we have a part of an animal's back and tail. And it looks like this could be possibly the fox. And then we have a farm in the background. Let's turn it over to the front again. Look at the title, Rosie's Walk. And then the picture, what do you think that the story is going to be about? It's about a hen named Rosie, and she's a female chicken. And then we have a sly fox. And usually when we see foxes in a storybook, they are pretty mean. They make poor choices. And I don't think Rosie knows that the fox is going to be following her around the farm. But she's going to make sure that again, if she does know that he's following, he gets into a lot of big disasters. Before we begin, boys and girls, I have a joke for you. Let's see if you know what the answer is. <clears throat> boys and girls, why did the chicken Cross the road to get to the other side. Good job, boys and girls. Now, I want your eyes and ears on Mrs. B because I'll be asking you questions throughout the story. Also, boys and girls, reading means understanding the author's message. It's just not about calling out a bunch of words from your mouth. If you cannot answer reading comprehension questions after you read a page, then you have truly not read anything, boys and girls. Now, let's go over some sight words that you're going to need to know so that you recognize them in children's storybooks that you read. And also, you'll be learning these sight words in kindergarten. Boys and girls, there are 26 letters of the alphabet. Each letter of the alphabet makes a sound. Sounds put together make a word. Word makes, words make sentences. Sentences make paragraphs. And paragraphs make great big stories. So let's go over some 
fight words. I. A. Is. In. Am. To. Come. Boys and girls, when you see an E on the end, it is silent. We don't hear it or we don't say it. We stop right here before it. So we're going to stretch this vowel and say come and then stop right here because the E is silent. And that means that the vowel before it, we stretch, it's a long vowel sound. And let's go over our vowels. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. So there's six vowels, boys and girls. Now I want you to say it with Mrs. B again. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. And then the rest of the letters of the alphabet are consonant sounds. Now we're going to stop at the K. Like. C. TH makes the th sound. The. My. Sometimes in certain words, the Y will sound like an I, boys and girls. We. And. At. Now stop right here where the R is because the E is silent. Here. Here. Come here. Boys and girls, it's not this here. That's spelled differently. On. Last page. Up. Up. Look. We have double O vowel. Go. TH makes the th sound. This. It. And me. Good job, boys and girls. <clears throat> Thumbs up. Boys and girls, are you ready for Mrs. B to read? At the end, I have an activity that you're going to do with me and then another activity that you're going to do at home with your family. How cool is that? Are you ready? Rosie's Walk. Boys and girls, when we read, do we read left to right? or right to left. We read left to right, left to right, and left to right. Good job. Rosie the hen went for a walk. And this is Rosie, and this is the fox. She is going to be walking around the farm. Boys and girls, also, out of our sight words, I want you to find on a page where they have the word the. 
How do you spell the? T H E spells th the. So Mrs. B is going to ask you to point to the word on the page and help me locate the word the. That means that I know that you know how to recognize the word the. So look at this page again. And where is the word the, boys and girls? Right there. Good job. <clears throat> And across the yard, across is a preposition. That's a part of speech. And there she is going across the yard. Boys and girls, point to the word the. Right there, good job. You're paying attention. I like that. And look at that. The fox is trying to hide behind a rake. And there is Rosie. Does she know that the fox is behind her, boys and girls? Let's make a prediction, shall we? A prediction is when we guess what's going to happen next in the story. Based on words and clues, and also the pictures. And boys and girls, it's okay to be wrong at times, because right or wrong, that makes you a better reader. Because Mrs. B has made several predictions in storybooks, and she's been wrong. But that just makes me a better reader, and it'll make you a better reader too, boys and girls. So let's see what happens next. Put your thinking caps on. Where did the hen go next? Where did Rosie go? She went around the pond. And who is still following her? Yes, the fox. And look at this. He's trying to hide in the pond, and she is still walking. Splash, splash. And over the Haystack, boys and girls, can you point to the word the? Right there. And over is a preposition. And she's going over the haystack. Not under, but over, boys and girls. And so is the fox. Now the fox has fallen in the haystack. That's what he gets. He doesn't look too happy. And there is Rosie continuing her walk around the farm. She went past the mill. So here is the mill. It says flower. She went past it. And there is the sly fox. And boys and girls, can you point to the word the? Right there. And the word past is a preposition. And the flower spilled all over him. Good for him. 
because he's trying to do something to Rosie, possibly eat her up. And we don't want anything to happen to Rosie, boys and girls, do we? No. And she went through the fence. She went through from the other side to this side. Through is a preposition. And where is the word the? T-H-E. Can you point to it for Miss B? Yes, I was trying to give you a hint. See if you're paying attention. Oh, and then where do you think the fox fell into? Yes, he fell into a wagon. And there is Rosie. She's still okay. Under, under the beehives, Rosie went. There she is going under all of the beehives. Something's going to happen to the fox. It looks like she's knocking down some of those beehives. I wonder if they're going to eat or bite the fox. And point to the word the. Right there. Good job, boys and girls. And under is another preposition word. Uh-oh. The bees are going crazy. They are chasing who? Not Rosie, but the fox. That's what he gets. And got back in time for dinner because she went around and walked around the whole entire farm. And now she's back in time for dinner, back in her chicken coop. And the sly fox is gone. The end, boys and girls. What did you think about the story, Rosie's Walk? If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it, give it a thumbs down. <clears throat> hey, I gave it a thumbs up too. I really enjoyed sharing this story with all of you boys and girls. Now let's see how much you remembered. Here is Rosie. And here are all the prepositions everywhere that Rosie went, boys and girls. So here is Rosie. She went across the farm or across the yard. She went around the pond, around the pond. She went over and down again the haystack. She went past the mill. She went through, so she went through the fence to get to the other side. And she went under the beehive, under, not over, but underneath the beehive, boys and girls. Now, I have a special activity for you to do at home with your family, boys and girls. We used a lot of preposition words, so I want you to create a little storybook, and I want you to call it Rosie's Walk on the cover, and draw a new cover. 
or you can paint a new cover. And then I want you to fold several sheets of paper in half and then staple the sides. Two or three staples is enough. And on the inside in the first page and then following, I want you to use words like, so I need your help, moms, dads, grandparents, older brothers and sisters. I want them to use the words across, around, over, past, through, and under. And you can also use some additional words as well for prepositions. And then I want them to draw a chicken, which is Rosie, the female chicken. And I want them to cut out a chicken. And then as they draw the other picture as well, like over the haystack, but they don't have to do the haystack. They can do over the hill or over the mountain. And then they can practice modeling how rosy the chicken would go and move. So they're learning their positioning as well as their prepositions. So th these are some of them, but you can also use um, other ones as well. So I need you to parents write down the words for the child that you're going to use for their book. And then they can copy it from you on, into their book. So you need to cut out a little chicken, female chicken or a hen. And then on each page, you're going to draw pictures with sentences underneath. Cross the yard around the pond, but you don't have to do it like Mrs. B. You can use your own imagination. And when you're done, you can share it with your family members, as well as if you go to school, boys and girls, you can share it with your teacher and your classmates, and you can teach them about over, under, through, and during show and tell. Boys and girls, I have one last surprise for all of you, and I wonder what it could be. Hmm, let's see now. Who is visiting Mrs. B here in her office? And this is also my mini classroom. This is my house, and I live in the state of Michigan, boys and girls. And in the corner here, I have a round table. <coughs> Excuse me, a froggy. And this is where I work with boys and girls. And also, I have a big dry erase board that sits on a stand, and I do a lot of writing on it when I teach. And no, the special guest is not my Siberian tiger. He's resting right now. Boys and girls, I wonder who it could be. Oh, it's Garfield. Oh, thank you, Garfield, for joining Mrs. B and all of the boys and girls around the world. Will you help me to say goodbye to them? Boys and girls, reading is fundamental. And I'm so glad that you had the opportunity to join Mrs. B today for a very special read aloud and also my friend Garfield. We wanna say goodbye for now and hope to see you again soon.